Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will be discussing about higher order derivative. When we say higher order derivative, it is just getting the, the derivative of the other derivative. So, para mas maintindihan ninyo, let's have the following examples. The first one that I have in here is this. Number one, we have f of x equals 5x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed plus 3x minus 1. Then, we need to find the third derivative. Why third? Because it's uh, written here that we need to solve for the y uh, third prime. Okay? Or triple prime, kung tawagin. So, tatlo yan. Ibig sabihin, tatlong derivative ang gagawin natin. Let's get first the first derivative of this. So, y prime. Yan yung first derivative natin. Gamitan lang natin ang power rule. 4 times 5, that is 20. My x raised to 4 minus 1 yan, x cubed. 2 times, uh, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. x squared. Minus 1 ulit. Then ito, identity. Kunin mo lang tong numerical coefficient niya, plus 3. Then constant, wala na yan. First prime pa lang to, second prime. Ngayon, you get the derivative of the given derivative. So, 3 times 20, we have 60. x squared. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. x na lang ngayon. From 3, naging 2. From 2, naging x na lang. Then, cancel ng constant. Next, last, for the third prime. Y triple prime, we have 60 times 2 is 120. x na lang ngayon. Then, ito, identity, magiging negative 12. So, meron kang sagot ng 120x minus 12. Pag may nakita kang constant, wag mo tatanggalin. Yan na yung final answer kasi hindi mo naman nakukunin yung next derivative. You only get the triple prime. Y triple prime. So, that is the answer for number 1. Next, let's have the second example. We have f of x equals 5 times the quantity squared of x cubed minus 4. Um, we need to get the double prime or y double prime or the second derivative. So, kapag meron kayo ng factor, 1 parenthesis that is raised to a power, ang gagamitin nyo ay chain rule. So, gagamit tayo dito ng chain rule. Yung exponent na ito, yung multiply na dito sa numerical coefficient sa gilid, it will become, so y prime muna tayo, equals 5 times 2 is 10. Copy the expression inside the parenthesis. We have x cubed minus 4 raised to uh, raised to 1 na lang yan pag raised to 1 kahit wag nyo na yung sulat so kahit wala na yan times the derivative inside so 3 yung x cube ibaba na dito yung 3 magiging 3 x squared yung constant makawala yan dito so wag mo na ilalagay kasi derivative of constant is 0 next uh, this is the first derivative already. We just have to multiply. I-simplify lang natin kasi pwede ba ito i-simplify. So, meron tayong ito. Multiply natin. 3x squared times x cubed is nag-aaring tal dito. Magiging 3x raised to 5. So, itong dalawa. Minultiply natin. Next, negative 4 times 3x squared, magiging negative 12, 4 times 3 is 12, then copy x squared. Then multiply natin itong 10 dito sa loob, then magiging uh, 30x raised to 5, then 10 times negative 12 is negative 120. Okay, x squared. Ito ay y prime pa lang din, kasi nagsimplify pa lang naman tayo. Let's get the second derivative. So, 5 times 30 is 150. X raised to 4 na lang. Minus uh, 120 times 2 is negative 240 X. This will be your final answer for the second derivative of this example. Next, let's have the third example f of x equals cosine 5x plus 25. This is a combination of identity and trigonometric function. So, ito, we have two terms. First term and the second term. 
So, this is what we call the theta or the angle. Kailangan mong kunin yung derivative niyan, then ilalagay mo dito sa gilid. So, kunin natin derivative ng 5x. Uh, also, we need to get the y triple prime or the third derivative. So, ang gawin natin, ito muna, first derivative tayo. Kunin natin derivative ng 5x, that is 5. Yung 5 na yung lalagay mo sa gilid. So, magiging 5. Then, cosine, uh, ito ang gagawin mo dito ay get the derivative ng cosine that is equal to negative, negative sine. Lagyan natin negative sine. Then, copy mo na yung theta ulit, 5x. Then, derivative ng 2x ay 2 na lang. Kasi identity rule. So, plus 2. Simplify mo lang ito, magiging negative. Yung negative lagyan mo lang dito. Negative 5 sine 5x plus 2. First derivative pa lang yan, second derivative. So, ito, yung 5x ulit, we have two terms, di ba? First term and second term. First term, ito ay trigonometric function. Derivative ng 5x ay 5 ulit. Multiply mo naman kay negative 5. Magiging negative 25. Derivative ng sine ay babalik sa cosine. Positive cosine. Then, 5x copy. Then, ito constant, makawala na yan. Tanggal na yan. So, your final answer is this. Negative 25 cosine 5x. Okay? Next, let's have number 4. f of x equals square root of x plus 3. So, we need to get the y double prime or the second derivative. So, gawin natin. So, radical yan. First derivative natin. Ang una yung gagawin is to rewrite this radical into exponential form. So, gawin mo x plus 3. Kapag square root, magiging raised to 1 half. Okay? So, ito, i-chain rule natin to Magiging multiply mo 1 half dito sa gilid. 1 half. Copy x plus 3. And then minus 1. So, yung 1 half... Minus 1 is also the same with 1 half minus 2 over 2. Kasi ito ay equal lang naman ito sa 1. Okay, so pagka same na denominator yan, copy the denominator, then ito minus mo. 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1 over 2. So lagay mo yun dito, negative 1 over 2 times derivative ng loob. Ang derivative ng x ay 1. Derivative ng 3 ay wala. Constant. So, 0 yon So, 1 lang yung lalagay mo dyan. So, 1 times 1 half. Ito na yun. Uh, your final answer in here is y prime equals 1 half x plus 3 is to negative 1 half. So, we still need to get the second derivative kasi first derivative pa lang yan. So, dugtungan natin. Medyo mahaba to. So, gawin natin. Um, this is your first derivative. Get the second derivative. The negative one half multiply mo dito. So one half, magiging one half times negative one half. So second derivative natin, magiging one half times negative one half. Then ato kapin natin x plus three. Kapin x plus three. Then ato minus one ulit natin. So negative one half. Minus 2 over 2 ulit. So, magiging, ito, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Then, copy the denominator, 2. So, the exponent would be negative 3 halves. Times, derivative ng loob ulit, that is 1. Yung 3, constant. 0 na yun. Yung x ay magiging 1. Kasi derivative niya. So, simplify lang natin to Magiging, ito, 1 times negative 1. The 1 times negative 1 times 1, that is equal to negative 1. 2 times 2 is 4. So you have negative 1 fourth as numerical coefficient. Copy this. x plus 3 raised to negative 3 halves. Kapag may negative, ibaba natin using the reciprocal rule. So pag meron tayong 1 over n, that is equal to n raised to negative 1. So ganito rin yun. So gawin natin. Negative 1, dito 
yung for the mapupunta na dito, eto baba natin so magiging x plus 3 raised to 3 halves this could be your final answer or pwede mo itong ilipat into radical pwede 1 over 4 then eto magiging yung 2 na to yan yung square root dito yan yung index so, copy may x plus 3 sa loob magiging x plus 3 then itong 3 lagay mo dito sa loob So, yun yung 3. Tapos may 2 yan dito. Final answer. That is your second derivative. Okay? Next, let's have the last example that I have in here. I have f of x equals 2x raised to 6 minus 4x raised to 5 plus x cubed minus 3x squared plus 9x minus 3. Get the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5y to the 5th prime. So, 5th yan. Next, so kung natin yung first derivative, madali lang ito, medyo mahaba lang. 2 times 6, we have um, 12x raised to 5. Ito magiging 4 times 5 is negative 20x raised to 4. Then ito, x cubed, baba natin yung 3 dito. So magiging plus 3x squared. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6x na lang. The 9x identity, yung x magiging 1, 1 times 9, plus 9. Ito negative 3, tanggal na yan. Next, second prime. 12 times 5 is 60, x raised to 4. 4 times 20 is negative 80, x raised to 3. 2 times 3, plus 6x. Then ito identity, magiging minus 6 na lang, tanggal na yung constant. Third prime. 4 times 60 is 240x cubed naman ngayon. 3 times 80 is minus 240 ulit. X raised to 2. Then ito identity plus 6. Cancel na ito. To the 4th prime. 3 times 240 is equal to 700x. 20. Check nga natin para sure. 240 times 3 is 720. X squared naman ngayon. 2 times 240. Negative 240 is negative 480. X ngayon. Then cancel na itong constant. The next y to the 5th prime Final answer na tayo. 2 times 720 times 2 natin is 1440x. From x squared, x na lang. Then ito, tanggalin mo lang yung x. Minus 480. This will be your final answer. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you learned something from higher order derivative. Don't forget to subscribe to keep you more updated on my next video. Thank you.